Some experts are warning carbon emissions from residential and commercial buildings are on the rise. One university in the U.S. is working to change that. CBS News correspondent Natalie Brown shows us how. Howard University is teaching the next generation of architects how to design buildings with climate and the environment at their core. They are in a very like supersonic state. I mean, they don't have any time to relax. Professor Nia Malou launched a first of its kind class to teach strategies on decarbonizing buildings, which account for around 40% of carbon emissions from lighting to heating and cooling. If we can find ways to mitigate that um, through design, that's something that we should explore. Darian Jacobs, in his final year of the architecture program, says building green starts with sustainable and efficient materials. He used math and computer modeling to show us the difference going green could make. If we utilize all of those practices, which we want to, that would lead to a drastic amount of reduction. Howard is not just teaching the concepts, but putting them into practice with its new construction, like the school's LEED Gold Certified Interdisciplinary Research Building. All these little elements, the, the building glazing, the way that the building performs from an energy perspective, but also you know, down to the material selections and choices. Derek Neese Williams graduated from the school's architecture program and now serves as executive director of campus planning. You know, buildings have one of the largest impacts on carbon footprint and on energy consumption. The way that we design these buildings, the way that you know, the buildings serve us, need to also serve our future generations. So that's what Educators hope new federal incentives help accelerate green design. The building can outlast man, so it needs to be built well. And built to protect the planet's future. Professor Malou says her students will be ready. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Washington.